closer to home, some Western New York high school students are getting their hands dirty under the hood for a shot at competing in a national auto tech competition. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Justin Moore explains how this competition impacts job growth. <laughs> Tense moments for students at this annual auto competition at Erie County Community College Vehicle Tax Center. I think cars are one of the coolest things on the face of the earth. It's either win big or go home for these passionate Western New York tax students. Each year, the Niagara Frontier Automobile Dealers Association hosts the Ron Smith Memorial Auto Tech Competition. About 40 students from area high schools compete for scholarships, prizes, and a chance to compete in the national competition. As these kids can go on to New York City, would be the Super Bowl of Auto Tech for a chance to go on and represent Western New York, win a car, and win full scholarships. It's no easy win here. Students have to get their hands dirty under the hood, determine what is wrong with the cars they are given and fix them. They get a good feel for what it is to have a career and all the stress that might go along with it, but more importantly, the reward that comes at the end. Tyler O'Callaghan is reaping those the rewards. The former winner and now judge says he's grateful for the competition. It's a good opportunity. I was very happy that I got the opportunity to do that. Many Western New York car dealerships and community colleges are well invested in this auto battle. Many times their next employee or student comes from this cream of the crop. A couple students here today that actually graduated from Niagara Career and Tech that won the auto tech competition three years ago, left our school and actually are full-time students here at ECC and additionally work full-time at local dealerships. When you're here everyone's watching you while you're trying to fix a car. It was cool. It was like really exciting for me. In Orchard Park, Justin Moore, 7 Eyewitness News.